Howdy Pokemon Trainers, and welcome back to a Branch Off series. Well, kind of. This is going to be totally separate from my Kalamon series, which will still continue to go on. But it's finally here. The hunt is ready to begin. I'm here to basically collect the trophies of every single mod in this, well, every single mob in this game. Everything you see around me that's moving has a trophy. Even this guy with a halo. And sadly, I will have to kill all the villagers to get their trophies eventually. But for right now, might as well lo loot and pillage them. So without any further ado, let's get into the first episode of The Hunt. Actually, I kind of already shoved my books in here so I knew what was in here. Oh, who am I kidding? Let me just grab that axe. I made this mistake last my first episode of Kalamon. It's not really necessary for me to keep on going. And I think the music is a bit loud. Okay. There we go. Oh, what? I'm not trying to hurt you. I, I didn't even touch him. I... Ouch. Okay, don't make direct eye contact with the priest. Noted. Well, since he killed me, it's just fair that I take his house, which I believe is that spellcaster's tower over there. Actually, while I'm down here, might as well double check to make sure none of these houses have some chests that I can easily um, use to um, increase my uh, loot pool. Thing. Darn it. I was really hoping for more stuff. Oh. And for the record, returning mods include the quick tree falling, my strip mining mod, and of course the trophy mod. Along with plenty of other mods, which adds plenty of more monsters for me to kill. If I look around real quick, I bet I can find a centaur or even a... Maybe not a hippocampus. We're out in the mountains. They're more of an ocean creature. Point being, the monsters we can find in creatures and mobs are almost endless. Well, not endless. I guarantee you they will eventually collect everything, but this will be one of my longest series I will probably ever do. Okay. I'm almost at the top. Oop. Not what I need to see. For the record, I do plan to build my own house. This is only for a temporary assignment until I can, say, build my own house. It's not like I can't already, though. I need to find better words for this. Point being, this series, I'm going to call it The Hunt, as I've already stated. My main goal, though, is if you haven't noticed yet, I got... A couple of bottles above my hunger. That isn't hydration. That's mana. My goal for this season, last episode, I used my OP bow a lot. Well, my current series, I use my OP bow a lot. But this series, I plan to mess a whole lot with spells. Huh. 
There should be a chest there. Yeah, there should be a chest right there. Well, that's a pain. Where could that stuff gone? You know what? It's not really much of a trouble. Problem. If it hasn't been noticed, I did mess around with this mod a bit to figure out how everything works. The village seems to be functioning well on its own. See? Centaur. And if I'm not mistaken, the village guards will see them as a threat, even though I can walk right by them without technically angering them. Okay, first things first. I got wood, so time to quickly gather some stone. Uh. Yeah, that's another thing I have in this mod pack I really should go over. Actually, since I'm here, why not quickly show off some of the mods? I have a bunch of self... I have a bunch of do-it-yourself grinders which will mine and completely collect ores and farm foods and cook and do some stuff for me if I need it. Hold on. Yeah. Upgraded chess. I also believe I have plenty of wine crafting food mods. I have Pam's Harvest Craft installed. And plenty of dimensions. And for when it comes down to mobility, I have simple aircraft, a simple aircraft mod, and, well, I think I got one of the best ships mod on the market. Well, not market, no. Mod pack? Point being, I'm covered when it comes down to if I have enough stuff to keep you guys entertained. But, as usual, that's up to you guys to decide, not me. So as usual, it's punching trees and mining stone. Plan to get enough stone and make my first set of stone tools. So let's think, we need three for the pickaxe, an additional one for the shovel, that brings us up to four, one for, yeah, I only need nine for a complete set of tools, which means I already have more than enough, and I'm guessing you're iron. Why is he barking? You know what, he stopped, it's not a concern, and for the record, if someone was here, I would know about it. Uh, why did I even exit my inventory? Okay, first things first. I'm gonna need to make a furnace. Actually, I'm gonna need more s sticks first. <laughs> you guys know I'm a lot better Minecrafter than I'm making myself out to be right now. But still, everyone has to go through the same steps of, well, I would say stupidity, but this is just plain ignorance at this point. It'll take a while before I have enough iron to build my first spell tome, and if it's not clear, the sun is already setting. So let's get the first iron mined for this series, and 
basically get going. I hope this is iron. Yep, it's iron. Yeah, the first spell poem is going to take one of every iron tool, which means I'm going to need nine iron to get started in my spell career. Now, I could create an iron spell tome, but that won't work because I don't currently have any spells, and I really don't want to try taking on that current priest dude down there. Not until I at least have some armor. Actually, I may be able to lower him closer to one of those... If I can actually get him into a fight with a stronger mob, maybe they can take care of him for me. And I can collect his spell tome. I know that's cheating and conniving and a bit around the edge. I know I was missing something in where I got this ladder from. Doesn't look like I sport stored any of the spells up here. I'm a little annoyed though. Where did I You know? When I walked around I did look in the chest here too and did quick things. I must have put something in that chest before finalizing my mod pack. That was corruptive and it removed the chest in the process. Well, live and learn, I guess. I'm gonna take a wild guess that the guy is down over here due to how that one mob is lit up. Which means. He can't be too strong. Come on, die already. This is a bad idea. Ow. Did I just dive through fall damage? Okay, yeah, I should have stored all my stuff. But another mod that this makes very capable for me to show off is my new gravestone mod. Long story short, I'm sort of dead. creatures to attack him if this is going to work.
Okay, yep, not taking down that priest anytime soon. Gonna need my first spell tome first. I do like it's a ghost that I can only become more... Well, technically, the ghost effect is more of a safeguard, so I can get back to my... Gravestone. Yep, completely destroyed my sword with no efforts whatsoever. <sighs> gonna have to find some more iron. I'm not gonna say my spell, my first spell tome won't be strong enough, but if I can just get some, yep, more irons over there. I kind of really should tr still try my plan of driving him into an open area to get his spell tome. It may not be my best plan, but a plan is a plan. It doesn't matter how good or how bad it is, as long as you got one. I'm not going to say it's going to be a hook, line, and sinker either. I'm going to be trying and failing to kill that guy for probably a while. Here's a really scary idea. If he's that strong to kill, what are some of the bosses going to be like? And take into consideration, he can also regenerate by drinking potions. Most mobs in this pack can do something pretty much exactly like that. Which means killing them just by outlasting them in health like in my other series, won't exactly always work. Gonna have to get creative and find ways to prevent them from either healing or hit them hard enough that they can't recover fast enough. Which is gonna be even harder because one of the mods that is not making its return is my over overpowered armor mod. It's not that it couldn't be installed, it's that I kind of felt like it was cheating in a way to not only install it, but to have it in the first place. Okay. There's the iron. I can just ride the waterfall back up. Is there anything else down here? That I, yeah, I did see some more iron over here. So right off the bat, I'll be right and able and capable of getting into spellcrafting. Why can't I just ride up that waterfall? I like this. Okay, now with that all said and done, I should have enough iron to make my first, actually, what is that? I'm not going to say it's not like I haven't seen these things before, but usually, yeah, for the record, I have another one over there, which is ridiculous ridiculously large I'm gonna quickly check out this one then head back to the village because well 
let's be honest, it's not like this episode's been going on for a long time, but it's probably nearing half an hour, and I still haven't even gotten my first belt home, which, to be fair, iron tools are pretty darn simple to get. Oh. You know, I kind of feel stupid not being able to find this right, right away. Is there a way I can even get into this? Or is it completely surrounded in obsidian? Nope, completely surrounded in obsidian. That's a pain. Well, the other one is just like it. I want to know what they're hiding in the center there, but I can't find out what it's hiding until I get a diamond pick, which is kind of annoying if you ask me. But look on the bright side. The moment I get a diamond pick, not only do I get the capabilities of, well, getting into those things, but I also get to find some unique treasure and plenty of obsidian. And the other one is made out of basically obsidian and crying obsidian, nothing else. So getting to the center of that one's going to be a real task. Or iron. I should have enough iron to not only make my spell book now, but also the other one. And it's not like I can't go adventuring around structures and eventually find spell tomes. I'm just gonna have to be able to carry around some other stuff with me. Still, is the priest still down here? Huh, clay golem. Yeah, priest is still there. I need some kind of health mod just so I know how much damage I actually am or am not doing to those people. That and knowing my enemy's health bar may be a little bit helpful in this mod considering I may know when to fight and when to flight. Okay, first things first. I never really placed you down. If it's not clear, I do also have book bags installed because I'm going to be having a lot of stuff in my inventory as this series goes on. Yeah. Something else I should have clarified. I not only have those iron nuggets, but I get them because I've been killing creatures. Oh, fudge. I think. Need to run, need to run, need to run, 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 run. Trust me. I'm sleeping because when night comes, the mobs only get harder.
Call me a coward if you want, but I guarantee you the last thing you want me to do is die on the first day because I was overconfident. Darn it, I was hoping that there was something hidden there. Yeah, this village is well protected, if you haven't noticed. It's actually one of the first spawns I noticed that the centaurs and the village weren't spawned in the same area and the village guards and the centaurs didn't completely obliterate each other it is glorious and i do pick up a lot of iron nuggets and a lot of iron not iron gear crossbows shields other stuff like that right off the For the record, I do not plan to turn this into my house. I just am setting up shop here temporarily. I do not plan to live in a village. Imagine the irony of me slaughtering every villager in that entire town just for me to live there. Not only is that kind of gruesome in reality, but it's kind of concerning when you think about the person's mental state and all. horse I'll set you free just give me a second stairs down none and I think these will do just fine. I need one more piece. Iron, turn some of these into planks. Set you aside. First things first, I believe I can actually have these quite well damaged before I actually combine them into a spell tome. So I'm going to go get a book, which I believe is the last ingredient I need. Which, where am I going to go? Is that a library up here? Please tell me it. Actually, I think you're a library down here. Which means all I need to do is break one of the books in your shelves. that said, I can just quickly swap that sword out. <sighs> Not really that much better. And how is the iron axe the same as the stone axe? You know what? Not much of a concern. I need to attack him and lower him out into the open area. Ooh, and I'm completely low on hunger. This is a bad idea. I should have checked my hunger bar before doing this. He's gonna get me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get close to the centaur. Is he not following me? Okay, I'll just have to go back into the village, grab some food, heal up. Did 
Do I add some kind of non-trampling mod? I know I have the sleeping bag mod, but I just didn't think I had anything other than that. Ash. That must be from one of my other mods. Okay, I'll eat. Now I can actually run after giving this guy a beating. Is he following me? Yeah, he's following me. Not very far. Where did he go? Did I kill him? I hear him. Run, 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 run. Targeted by a wisp. I should... can kill those things. Is he not allowed to leave the confines of this village? Come on, that hit you. Yes. Every centaur in the area should be now attacking him. Curse you! Mm. I am st I just want to... Mm. There's nothing I can do about that guy. It's, uh, sneaking annoying me. something that can do massive amounts of damage over a quick amount of time that's the only way I'm gonna be able to defeat that guy with his health potions make another double chest inventory because technically this won't do me any good from right here yep I can set it right here
Okay. Da, 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 da. I was swore I had the Geo mod installed. Well, I guess I can do that in between episodes. But for now, I'll just keep on mining. Okay. Okay. Dump all that stone in there. Sticks, tools. Inventory, nope. I don't know what I can do with those. to fix that later but yeah my tome of death i should yeah i have one point of knowledge damage dealt damage taken or stealth speed improves Casting speed chance to be interrupted. Potion. Scrolls. Yep, if it's not clear, I have a few. Let's keep be able to maintain some of my experience. I think that will be some of the best stuff for me right now. I do have books, and I could currently turn those into what I need. Right click. Yeah, more dust. Really? Get over here. That's my bed. Mm hmm. I got another point. Who knew killing some villagers would be good foster? Well, good fodder. saw a villager come in here. Well. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Nice to see ya. Oh, get back. I know the Iron Golem will eventually come for me. But at the moment, I'm not really concerned. Wait. Actually, probably I should nip the problem in the butt while I have the chance.
Well, that's embarrassing. How did he even touch me? Poor Golem shouldn't have even been able to reach me. I'm a man of religion, but this priest does have to die. I would have thought I would also have gotten my first trophy by now. No offense, we know that they're not exactly the easiest to come by. Which is going to be a pain in my butt when you think about it. But it's not like... I would also prefer if they gave some XP. Hey, if you're going to help me... Well, I am getting some kind of drop from them. Not the drop I want. Yeah. Monsters will only drop their trophy when killed directly by a player. I'm still trying to figure out if that means I have to kill them directly with a sword or if my spells will work. I guess I'll find out in the process of this series. Everything happens through try and error after all. some tree mining try and use up some of this pickaxe's durability and then go combine it with the tome and yeah, in between episodes I may just do some basic crafting so I have all the stuff I need for the next episode like for example may do some simple mining or yeah since i already have a decent amount yeah that takes care of that that takes care of that if i had uh, something around here i would definitely mine a bunch it's not like I got a good resource around here that needs a shovel, so let's just go quickly use my strip mining capabilities with this pickaxe, and I'll combine them. It's not like I have anything major to do. Should have had a torch. Live and learn. I think that's the second, maybe even third time I've said that this episode. <laughs> Sorry for anyone out there who's saying, yeah, we understand. Live, learn, live, learn.
Holy. Uh, that actually did a pretty substantial amount of damage to my pick. Okay. Finally time to, um... Spell tome. Eh. No spell. Eh. Okay, um, let's do projectile and harm. Create. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this projectile should harm whatever it hits. Unfortunately, the break spell, I think, is only up to Iron Tear. I'll need to unlock some more tomes before getting diamond breaking power, but at the moment, yeah. Wait. Wait. Why is there... Okay, this is funny. Oh, there's a cave right here and I didn't even notice. Well, he noticed me. Okay. Right off the bat, I have a decent amount of wood, stone, and other resources that I could build a house with in between episodes. But let's be honest, even though I say I'm not going to be picky about where I set up shop, everyone who's watching this video knows I'm not one to choose a house location off of the whim of it. I need to be ready to construct something there. And considering my whole mage outlook for this series, I want a mage tower, maybe even a castle, which means large open area or mountain peak. Speaking of which, okay. Yeah, this should fling, oh, this should fling a, a spectral ball, not be invisible. This is annoying if you know anything. Uh, okay. I guess I can, this will be bolt. Great. And this one will be break. In between episodes, which will actually be ending here soon. I will pretty much just figure out why I have so many glitches in my system. I know this isn't the best computer, but even I know that this isn't something that's just happening because. I even may do a little bit of exploring off camera just so I can hopefully have something to show for it. Yeah. What do I have? 
Okay, uh, and quick examination. It looks like I got a structure over here. Or some kind of trees and stuff over there. Another village. That may be my best option to go to next episode. And a ship. Also a pillager outpost over there. And I'm guessing that's one of the graveyards that comes with my gravestone mod. Fair warning, I'm not the only ghost in this world. And I will have to become a ghost buster. Well, not really a ghost buster. I won't need any prio blaster cannons or crossing the lines or any stuff like that to beat them. All I need to do is hit them harder than they hit me. Pretty much like every other monster now that I think about it. Yep, that's going to get annoying. Oh, hold on. Oops. We have to mess with the controls off thing because some stuff isn't working the way it's supposed to and ultimately I don't want to be playing a series with all my effects and everything glitching out left and right. It won't make it entertaining for me and it won't make it definitely entertaining for you guys. Okay, got plenty of iron, well not plenty, trust me there are things in this mod pack that will take a small fortune worth of iron for me to fully construct, which means I will need to do more and more mining, but for right now I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep. And with the new day, wait, why didn't I think of that? Come on, kill that, that dude. Darn it. You are insufferable, you know that, right? Huh? Hmm. Well, with that said, it's time for me to sign out. If you enjoyed the episode, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Have a great rest of your day.